the most incredible mango. So juicy. Just melt in your mouth, no strings. No so strings guys, attached. I uh, just got back from a nighttime uh, scooter ride. That was very fun. And I did some breath work while I was on the scooter. It's like pretty chill. There's like not many people on the roads here like at night. And it's just like just driving along the beach road, just like the wind and oh, the air is amazing here. And I found these. I found these melons. I found two of them. I've been looking. Oh, they smell so good. I think it's like a Gallia melon. I've had these before. They're amazing. Um, but like, it's really hard to find ripe produce here. And I mean, not ripe produce, but ripe uh, melons, like these type of melons, because um, they pick everything so early here. And so I was really excited to find these. It was like, it was like two dollars for each of these. Um, it was like a dollar fifty a kilo. Um, God, they smell good. Uh, so I'm so excited. I'm going to have those for breakfast. But yeah. Good night. Yo, I just got out of the sauna. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and uh, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. Feeling really good. I actually woke up at like 3 a.m. And did some breath work. Did like an hour or two of breath work. And I just feel so calm and like so energized as well. So I'm like ready to get this day started. Sun's not even out yet. But, you know, I'm ready. Ready, let's get it. Look at these things. Oh yeah, they juicy. They smell so good. Hello everyone. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. I don't remember if I did back from, from leg workout, did squats, lunges, and a lot of cycling in the sun, of course. Um, did some good stretching as well as some meditation at the beach. Um, now I'm back home. Uh, also did that sauna sesh earlier. So I drank a coconut right before getting home. And now I'm going to dig into this melon, this melon I got last night. And oh my gosh, are they ripe? They're so ripe. Sorry, they're doing construction behind me. So there might be a little bit of noise. It's like a Gallia melon. been so long since I've had like a, a sweet juicy melon I've had watermelon of course really good watermelon but not this kind of melon so good So it's been six days now since I've been on the high carb, low fat, back on the low fat. And I feel incredible. Even more energy. These guys are really going at it, man. It's like eight o'clock right now, by the way. And, um,. Feels so good. Digestion's just peak, peak digestion. My God, it just melts with flavor. So yeah, my friend told me that um, when he eats high fats, he gets like clicking in his knees. And I thought that was really interesting. So I like, uh, I, I noticed that too. Like I started seeing that. I don't have any clicking anymore. But it could also be because I'm moving my body a lot more. I'm not staying sedentary. I'm not sitting for long periods of time.
I just love having the energy to do whatever I want in life. I was either going to do triceps or legs today. But honestly, I did biceps yesterday. And I don't feel like doing arms two days in a row. Leg day is just too much fun. It's crazy, these cyclers in the morning. They are just like flying down the road. They're like professional street bikes and they got like the shoes and the helmet and everything. You know, they're all in position. And literally like a straight line of like 10 bikers just like going so fast, man. It's really a sight to see. Vung Tao is like a cycling town. Like I see everybody just with jacked legs. Lean muscle, core strength. This melon, this melon's incredible. My God. This is up there with some of the best Gallia melons I've had. So yeah, that's how I'm starting my day. Maybe you can see the construction behind me. They go fast, man. There was like nothing there like a week ago. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'm really loving these like cucumber tomato salads. It's really simple. And yeah, it's like such a sweet breakfast that I'm like not really craving anything sweet. My carbohydrate fuel tank's full. So just a little snack midday. It's about 1, 1 p.m. now. All right, so just having some tomato, cucumber, lime, and then I'm gonna have it with a little bit of spirulina. It's really good stuff. Nothing like a little tomato, cucumber sandwich. Hmm. Holding my camera backwards, it's a little weird. Found this papaya. <laughs> mm. so when they're ugly like this, I'm telling you, these are the best ones. Look at how red inside. And I found this. Do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know what this fruit is? This is called an egg fruit, otherwise known as canistel. Very sweet fruit. It almost tastes like a sweet potato. Very good. <laughs> this is going to be my dinner. Here's what they look like on the inside. Kind of like a, a dense avocado texture. Kind of pumpkin-y, maybe? Oh my god, I am so stoked. <laughs> This papaya is literally like the best papaya I've had before. I swear. It tastes like strawberries or something. Nothing like a papaya I've ever had. Not new flavor. Like. You know, this was sitting there. It had a little mold on it. Most people would be like, oh no, not mold. So good.
And even besides the mold, it looked like ugly. I saw the perfect little papaya cultivars in the market. You know, the cultivars are the, the grafted varieties. I think this came from the lady's backyard. Like this is a local one. And the other ones are grown on some big plantation. And yes, I am eating some of the seeds. Very good medicine for the human body. Someone came in my chat, they were like, or my chat, um, the comments, and was like, eating papaya seeds? Are you brain dead? Um, no. <laughs> I'm not sure if they thought that they were poisonous for some reason. That is not the case. Most fruit seeds, almost all fruit seeds are edible. Not poisonous. So yeah, here's the egg fruit. If you guys seen my other videos from like Thailand, I think I had this in Borneo as well. This is such a good fruit. This one almost has like a jackfruit kind of sweetness. I don't know, it kind of tastes like durian. It's interesting. Like a very sweet montong. Hmm. Yeah, this is the seed. It's pretty big. Holy crap. That's what it looks like. It's pretty seed. You gotta be careful. Um, supposedly, if you eat a lot of these, um, it detoxes you from heavy drugs. Mm. It's never happened to me, but some people eat a lot of these and they start like throwing up or something because they've done a lot of drugs. But nothing to be afraid of. Perfect fruit. This papaya is nuts. I know where I'm getting my papayas from now on. You know, there's like some varieties of papayas and they're all the same. You know, it's like one tastes like the other, tastes like the other. It's like when you go to McDonald's, right? You order a cheeseburger. Every single time you go to McDonald's, you know what it's going to taste like. It tastes exactly the same. Really good fruit. It tastes like something. I think they call it egg fruit because it kind of looks eggy. It doesn't really taste eggy though. Very dense fruit. I don't even know if I can finish. I don't know why I bought so many. <laughs> hmm. I guess my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Highly recommend this fruit. 
It almost tastes like a cake. Sweet potato pie. That's kind of what it tastes like. You know, with the marshmallows and stuff you have on Thanksgiving? Hmm. That's what it tastes like. Sweet potato pie. Yeah, I haven't had this in a long time. Hmm. Yep. So that's going to be it. Nothing beats that papaya though. Holy crap. That is one of the, that is like the best papaya I've had so far. Like in Asia. Holy crap. It's really good. And yeah, all this costs like a dollar ten. Pretty crazy. The papaya only cost me 10,000 dong. Just like 35 cents or something. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Peace and love. Oh, I want to say thank you um, to John for requesting the previous video. And thank you guys so much for all the feedback. Like, it seems like you guys really enjoyed the story time videos. So I really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully we'll have another one coming here soon. Peace.